Oh, my God. My God. Mm. Telling you, people, I cannot make this stuff up. Cannot make this stuff up at all. Well, you guys know who I am. We, we, we got a topic tonight. Welcome to Lockout Man Podcast. I am Lockout Man. And uh, I do have a topic about this, uh, this seriousness, this, this, this invisible threat. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? Lockout Man here in the building. With the fan going on in the background, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of noise. <clears throat> a little bit of noise. I should have got that sound print. Hold on right quick. All right, so that should be enough right there. So let's get into this uh, topic, man. So this uh, article was brought to me by my man, uh, D. Nitty. What's up, D. Nitty? Thanks for uh, shooting this uh, information over to me so I could share it with you guys. But, um, but yeah, the, uh, the title, Overweight Man with Diabetes Who Claim to Have the Virus Attempted Suicide by Cop to Avoid a Painful Death from the Virus. Mm-hmm telling you this this virus got people doing crazy things man now this this overweight man no he's unidentified of course um he has diabetes um and he was and he claims to test positive for the virus So he decided to go down into the Bronx with a large knife and a black gun. They now let me let me show you the pictures of the knife and the gun right quick. This is the knife. Which is a jagged. You can you imagine getting stabbed with this type of knife right here, man? That is uh, that is a nasty, that is a nasty wound. Especially if you like like jag it in the leg and put a twist on that boy. Oh, that is that is so nasty. Ladies. This is what you might want to get to protect yourselves out there. You know what I'm saying? And this is the gun right here. Now, I'm not sure what what type of gun or what type of revolver that is, but that's the gun that they that they got. So. This man claims to have the virus and he wanted to die and he decided Instead of just maybe, you know, putting a gun to his head and taking his own self out, he decided to go outside and, uh, and let the cops do it. The man who has yet to be, who has yet, who has yet, <laughs> sorry about that. The man who has yet unidentified but believed to be 55 years old, called the police to his Bronx neighborhood where he was discovered armed with a large knife and pistol. He would later tell the police that he thought he was going to die from the a potentially painful and lonely process, which prompted him to attempt suicide by cop. Crazy, right? Uh... Let's go to the report by Police Chief Terrence Mohan. Approximately 3.59 this morning, our cops got a radio run of a, a man armed with a knife and a gun, and the caller said that the knife had blood on it. Cops respond. The individual advances right at the cops, 
points the gun directly at them. One of our officers who he was advancing toward, they have the numerous warnings, fires 10 times. Another officer fires one, striking him in the lower extremities. Uh, he was taken to the hospital where he is in stable condition. When we spoke to him in the hospital as to what he was doing, he said that he was looking to commit suicide by police officer. He said that he had been tested for COVID last night and that he was positive and that he's overweight, he's diabetic, and he thought that, uh, you know, he was going to die anyway, so he wanted the police officers to take his life. He figured that he was going to die anyway. He said, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to die anyway. He didn't, he, he didn't take the knife to maybe, you know, stab himself in the chest or, or stab, stab himself, you know, maybe to, you know, bleed to death or whatever. But he wanted the cop to take him out. And they, and they tried 10, well, 11 times, but 10 times from the one cop. I wonder what kind of aim he was doing because if he shot 10 times and the one bullet from the other cop caught him. Man, 10 times and, and dude in the hospital is living to tell about it. Man, that's that. You know what? That should that should tell the young man or the older man or the, the man, uh, the 55 year old. That should tell him something like. Yo, it's not your time yet, bro. Now, if the cops couldn't kill you, maybe there's a chance that this that this virus might not do it either. You know, I'm just saying. Just because you test positive for it now, don't don't get me wrong. A lot a lot of people have passed from catching this virus, you know, for for whatever reason. But there are some people that are recovering from this virus as well. So maybe there's a chance for this uh, gentleman after all, you know, maybe there's a chance, but of course, <laughs> of course, if he do survive, you know, they, they, they going to have to, they're going to have to put him on trial and, you know, hopefully he don't, you know, with this, with this situation that's going on right now, hopefully he will just be put on probation or maybe put on a psychiatric watch or whatever. But man, he wanted to be suicide by a cop, man. Crazy, crazy, right? Well, <laughs> What other news? There is other news. Let me let me double check before I get on up off off here right quick. Let me double check. See if there's some more news out here that I can that I can probably pass on to you guys. Oh, how about how about this right here? So <laughs> this is funny. My man D Nitty sends me this uh this video and somebody asked uh Alexa where did the virus come from? And Alexa gave <laughs> gave a shocking revelation. <laughs> I mean, you guys could choose to believe it or not, but I mean, you guys ask Alexa for a lot of for a lot of things anyway. Y'all ask Google, y'all ask Alexa, y'all ask whatever smart device, you know. I mean, this this is the new millennial now. We we don't have to look up stuff in the we don't have to look up stuff in the in the in the encyclopedia no more. Who still got that, by the way? The Encyclopedia Britannica. Who still got those? Who still goes through the Encyclopedia Britannica to look for information now? All you got to do now is just go to Google. And, hey, Google. (laughs) 
Where Corona? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see something. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. Hey, Google. Where Corona come from? Well, just show me the results. But let's go to this. Uh, let's go to the video and see what Alessa has to say about it. Uh, hold on right quick. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. We got to get some sound. This video got sent to me and now it's deleted but i'm gonna take a video of it so everyone can see it and repost it make sure you repost it as fast as you can because it's going to get taken down again i'm gonna rewind press pause, press play now alexa did the government release the according to event 201 the government planned this event created the virus and had a simulation of how the countries would react this simulation occurred October 18th, 2019. The government released the virus among the population and has lost control of the outbreak. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, yo, y'all got to take it. Y'all got to take it how y'all take it. I mean, I, I honestly don't know where this virus came from i'm i'm only going by what is reported out there they said this came from china you know what i'm saying they said this came from china you know that's that's why i don't talk politics man i i don't talk politics i don't talk government or none of that stuff man but but it's funny <laughs> it's funny that uh that you will ask alexa or Google, for that matter. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Let's try it again. Hey, Google. Did the government make the coronavirus? <laughs> well, here's, here's one. Here's one that just came up. It says... The virus is spreading, and so are the hopes and conspiracy theories around it. <laughs> so I don't know if you if you're a conspiracy theorist, maybe you know what I'm saying. Maybe uh, Alexa probably had to have the right answer for you, I guess. But it's it's up to y'all to believe. I I don't know what to believe anymore. That's why that's why I turn off the I turn off the news because it's it is so much stuff. I I get I turn it on a little bit just to get, you know, like for my for for my state, which is Ohio. You know, I get a little bit of information about what's going on in Ohio and just try to stay appeased to what's going on. You know, I got you guys sending me all kinds of 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 information and I just share it. Who am I to to actually say, yeah, that is the truth? Not I. I just shit. I once I get the information, I just share it. That's what I do. And it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys to figure out what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> or what is what is true and what is not true. But what I do know is that this virus is real. And this virus really got people doing crazy, outrageous stuff now. I mean, got this man want to want to die by a cop. You know. You got you got truck drivers that's catching it. You got truck stop workers that's catching it. It's messed up. Social distancing, y'all. Stay at home. You know what I'm saying? Stay at home order. Social distancing. Stay six feet away from that other person. You know, 
there's some places out here now that got like like plat like like shields up like when I I did the video uh the come ride with me video and I went into uh my local uh gas station to uh get some fuel. They they actually had a a, a plastic barrier of sorts now. They got plastic barriers now. You know, that you walk up and like it's it's like this tall and it gives you this much room to slide your money up under or whatever the case. It's getting serious. I walked into my corner store today in that same video. Um I wish I had the camera running, but I I had to charge it up. But um I walked in my corner store and he had masks. For five dollars, you know, a rap spot, you know, in my neighborhood, five dollars. So I'm thinking that's like what five dollars for a box. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, sign me up. I was like, yo, let me get a let me get a box of masks, man, because you know I'm about to get back out here on this road, and um, and I'm gonna probably need some, you know, need some protection. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, uh. What do you mean a box? Well, you want a box? A box going to cost you like, a box going to cost you a lot, bro. I was like, yeah. Ain't, ain't it $5? He was like, no, no. It's $5 a piece. Are you serious? I said, you can't be serious right now. He was like, yeah, $5 a piece. What, what makes you think I was going to sell a box of of?" Face mask for five dollars. I was like, bro, him. This the cheap shit that you got, man. It ain't even like you got the 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 metal the the medical grade kind. You you selling cloth for five dollars, man. Something that somebody could get, get get a get a box of rubber bands, a stapler, and some and some cloths. And they can they they can they can make that for like two cent a piece, bro. Five dollars in the neighborhood, and people in the neighborhood is actually buying that shit. I seen a couple of people come up in there like, yo, let me get a let me get a two masks. What you gonna do with two masks, bro? You know, once you once you wear it once, it's done. You know, once once you wear the mask once. It's done. You take it off, throw it away, go to the nets. That's like that's like the gloves. You know what I'm saying? You put the gloves on. You do what you need to do. You're walking around all day with the gloves on and all like that, all day, all day. You ain't even wash your hands or nothing like that, but yet you got the gloves on. You're walking around all day, all day and all like that. Uh, who's to say that it's not on the glove? I'm just saying it's something to think about, right? You know, you take take the glove off. What you you know, what you gonna do? Put it down and come back to it and put it back on later on? You you need to put on a new pair of gloves, bro. I'm just saying, you need to you need to put on a new pair of gloves, man. You need to put on a new mask. <sighs> Five dollars. I said, man. I, I said, man, you you guys, dude. I said, man, I wish I had my camera, because that's that that's why I keep my camera on. Let me let me show you the camera I got. By the way, hold on. Now this this ain't a review or anything like that, but uh well you might as well say it's a mini review, I guess. But um I came across this on YouTube and it was a YouTuber that was reviewing cameras and um he he reviewed this camera right here. This is the or what's that? Or or drill or or Giro. Or G roll, or J roll. Oh, I, I call it a camera. 
But this is a sweet camera, though. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a wearable camera. Now, before I got this, I had my GoPro, which is always strapped to my arm. You know, I made a, you know, I kind of Jimmy read this. I took the strap from the head mount and uh, and brought this little brought this little thing right here that that goes on the no, I mean not the notebook, but goes on the book bag. And I, I just made it into a, you know, into an arm strap. And, I, you know, I put it on my arm and I have it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have it on my arm and keep it up there. But since I got this right here, this is simple. Let me show you. So take off my headset. Pull up my hat. Just put this on and that's it you know for people that well i can't put my i can't put my headset back on so i can't hear but but that's it you know you can see you can, you can see there we go get into the camera there you go right here oops, right here it it lays on top of the ear you know kind of kind of flop your ear down but it lays on top of your ear and I mean, yeah, I mean it's a little loose, but you you know you can tighten it up in the back. But yeah, this this is it. You know you 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 can adjust it, and it gives you a point of view. And this and this was the camera that I was looking for for years, years. You can you? If I had this camera years ago, this would have came in handy with all of my lockout videos man because my lockout videos i still i still got people commenting on my lockout videos like yo man the camera's messed up i didn't see anything oh uh, you not teaching me nothing and i'm like i didn't make the video to teach i mean i i just made the video just to just to show what i do but I got mean comments that come in at me all the time. Like, yo, I can't see how you got in there. You know, yo, this, that, and the other. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I still got to comment to those people to let them know that, hey, this, this video is just for entertainment purposes, I guess, right? But imagine if I had this, though, back in the day, if I had this back in the day, my lockout videos would have been so damn tight. It would have been so damn awesome because y'all would have seen me work from the point of view. And that's what I like about this camera. This camera, it has an ear, it has a um, little speaker right there so that you can, you know, hear the prompts and all like that. You can hear it when it comes on. You can, um, you can hear where it says taking the picture, start recording and all that other good stuff. Um, the little camera icon up at the top, you just touch it. It takes a picture. Uh, and right here where it says Orjo, just touch that and it'll start record. Um, let me see. What else? Uh, it has a little light. It has a little light, right? It has a little light right there. Let you know, uh, let you know that it's recording and all like that. But it's it's a bright ass light though. I mean, it's it's like amber green and it's just it's real bright. It makes you know, if if I didn't have it plugged up like this and I had this covered, you guys would think that this is an old school Bluetooth. But uh it takes uh it takes a memory card, which you you put in at the top, and I got uh what memory card I got for this? I got 120. 128 gig memory card plus i got it plugged up into this battery pack Ugh. i got it plugged up into this battery pack right here this battery pack is this battery pack is awesome as fuck this one i actually got for my gopro but um i got i got the battery pack now if i didn't have it plugged up in the battery pack it will record for about two hours of battery life that's on here but the the memory card is about eight hours plus video and this battery pack right here all day all day battery pack so uh i turn it on 
and just and just go on about my day. So that's this this is where the ride ride with me videos come from. The Orjo. If you guys want to check it out, go to uh Amazon. I do have a actually I do got an Amazon affiliate link, don't I? I think I do. I gotta go and look for it. Because if that's the case, if you guys interested in this uh little recorder, I'm gonna put the link in the description if I have an affiliate link. But if you guys want to know how much this costs, this only set me back like $150. And it's a and it records up to 4K. It really do. Now, as far as sound goes on here, the sound is all right. That's why I got That's why I got this little sound recorder. You know what I'm saying? So That's why I got that. But uh but yeah, if you guys are interested in this, check it out. It's on Amazon. It's called Orjo. Uh, Orjo. I can't. I can't call it. But if you guys want to know more about it, or you know, want to know the link, you know, hit me up in the Gmail, and I'll be happy to send the link over to you. All right. Well, that's about it, man. That's about it. Uh, that's it for this evening. That's it for this podcast for tonight. Uh, you guys have a good night. Uh, you just got to stay safe, man. Stay safe. Wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? It's much more imperative now to wash your hands than, than it ever, ever been. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know we used to like wash our hands for like a quick second, but take that time. Take, take about 20 seconds, take about 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? And just wash your hands thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch your face. At least try not to touch your face. I know you got it. You know, I know you got that little itch. That's why I got my little, my little hangnail right there. And I just, you know, go with my hangnail. But try not to touch your face. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I do this and, you know, but yeah, you guys stay safe out there. Um, I know a lot. Of people is appreciating us now more than ever more than ever. I've seen so many signs that says, Thank you, truck drivers. Thank you, truck drivers. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for everything that you're doing. And I I kind of I'm I'm kind of appreciative of everything. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, situations happen and and we, you know, we we put our lives out here at stake literally you know to get to get things moving for you guys but i do appreciate some of you but not all of you you know what i'm saying because you know now out of everything that's all said and done you know but some of you i'm good with all right if you guys like this content don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell with the all button for more. Yes, sir. For more. Yes, sir. Let me say it again. For more info, I mean, for information, yo, hit me up. And if you guys would like to come on the podcast and chop it up with me for any reason, yo, hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. You guys have any, have any, uh, articles for me to for me to share hit me up gmail lockoutman at gmail.com and um and yeah i'll get it out there for you guys until then until next time we are gone